Hi, it's Nathan Lamy here from Urban Boxing Studios. Today we're going to talk about uppercuts. Some of the bad habits we see, like swinging arms, pulling our hands away from our face, uppercutting with our arms with no legs. We're going to go through all of those, we're going to fix some of those things for you, and we're going to give you some uppercut drills for you to practice at home. Technique right into a nice stance, nice wide stance, solid stance, elbow tucked in, hands nice and high. Okay. First thing with our uppercut, we can't be uppercutting from a, a, a tall height. We want to have a nice solid base when we're uppercutting. Okay, from here we want to sit into a soft squat position. We want to rotate our hips and as we rotate, rotate our hips, turn our hands so it's palm facing, elbow still tucked in. As we do this, we're going to drive our hips forwards and uppercut through the center line, okay? As we uppercut, it's really important that our uppercut elbow stays tight and we drive through the center line. The other thing that's really important is an uppercut is a, a, a technique used in close range. So, we don't need to be reaching for our uppercut. If we're reaching for that uppercut, we're leaving ourselves open and exposed to counters. We wanna be nice and tight and close and drive in as we send the uppercut, keeping our hands and elbows tucked in nice and tight to our body. For our first drill, we're going to set you up so that you have to make room for your uppercut, starting with your head on the bag, or if you're working with a partner in a focus pad, we want you to put the pad on their forehead, and then they're going to step out and make room for their uppercut. So nice and tight to the bag. From here, you're going to step out and uppercut. Again, from here, step out and uppercut. Really important, as we step our rear foot, we load into a soft squat position and drive our hips forward through the center line. After we've sent our technique, pull back into our guard so we're nice and solid and ready to defend any counter that comes our way. Okay, so we've looked at a short range uppercut. Now we're gonna look at a long range uppercut, um, a corkscrew uppercut. I used to love this um, shot, Prince Nazim Hamid, was probably the best um, boxer of my generation anyway for, for delivering this shot. Also, uh, Roy Jones loves this shot also. Okay, so from here, um, we're gonna change our range. So now we're in a longer range. From here, we're going to slip off line first. Slip off line, and from here, in, this, in our soft squat position, we're going to drive an uppercut straight up and out. Okay, it's really important with this uppercut. You're not swinging it or pulling your hand away from your, um, your face and your guard. You're slipping off line and driving straight up, okay? So it's like a um, palm up jab from a, 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 off an angle, okay? So it goes from here, slip and up. Sliding up underneath your opponent's guard. Make sure this hand doesn't pull away from uh, your face, your elbow doesn't pull away from your ribs. So slip and back into our guard. Okay, again, slip and back into our guard. One more time, slip and back into our guard. For our third and final uppercut, we're gonna add in some angle changes. So from our boxing stance, I'm obviously an orthodox, we're going to slip to our right, and as we slip to our right, we are going to step our rear foot out. Slip and step our rear foot out. Slipping outside of our opponent's jab. From here, we are going to uppercut and pivot into southpaw. So slip, step, uppercut, and pivot. Slip, step, uppercut and pivot. Good. Love this uppercut. The reason I like this uppercut is because nice little angle change takes us off line. Our uppercut sends blind, our opponent's arms are crossed, 
they can't see it coming, sends through the centre of their hands and after we've sent our uppercut, we've switched angles and we're now offline and have a position of um, strength and are able to then step into our opponent as they are very difficult for them to hit us because they're facing the wrong way and we're looking directly at them. Thank you for watching today's video. Give it a try at home. Um, we've predominantly worked on the rear hand, but flip it and work on the lead hand as well. Um, there are obviously other layers to this video in terms of how you'd set that uppercut up and which techniques follow it and how we would um, package those into a, a combination. Um, those are videos to follow for another day. Have a good practice of the techniques. Um, let us know how you get on in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and press the notifications bell. If you press that notifications bell, you'll be the first to know about new videos as they go online and we post daily with fresh content. Hope to see you again soon. Well done.